Title, The Heartbeat of Love. Travis Kelsey sat alone in the dimly lit locker room of Arrowhead Stadium, the sound of cheering fans echoing faintly outside. The Kansas City Chiefs had just finished a hard-fought game, and while the victory felt sweet, it couldn't drown out the anxiety that had been building inside him. Despite his success on the field, his heart felt heavy, torn between his burgeoning relationship with Taylor Swift and the pressures of his celebrity lifestyle. After the game, Travis was greeted by reporters eager to hear his thoughts on the win and his relationship with Taylor. He smiled, answering questions about plays and strategies, but deep down, he was feeling overwhelmed. The world had been watching them closely, dissecting their every move, and it was starting to wear him down. Later that evening, after he returned home, Travis received a call from Taylor. She had been busy with her own schedule, juggling tours and media appearances, but she made it clear that she wanted to see him. They arranged to meet at a small, private restaurant away from the prying eyes of the public. As he arrived, Travis felt a mix of excitement and dread. He missed Taylor deeply, but he couldn't shake the feeling that their relationship was under constant scrutiny. When he walked in and saw her sitting at a candlelit table, his heart raced. She looked radiant, her presence filling the room with warmth. Hey, you, she said, her eyes lighting up as she stood to greet him. They embraced tightly, and for a moment, all the noise faded away. They were just Travis and Taylor, two people in love. But as they sat down and began to talk, the tension became palpable. Taylor took a deep breath, her expression serious. Travis, I've been feeling something lately, she began. I love you, and I cherish what we have, but I can't help but feel like we're losing each other in all this chaos. Travis looked down at the table, his heart sinking. I know, he replied, his voice barely above a whisper. It's hard for me too. I feel like everyone is watching us, and I don't want to let anyone down, especially you. Taylor reached across the table, her hand covering his. You don't have to worry about that. I just want us to be real, away from the cameras and the headlines. I don't want our love story to become a spectacle. Tears began to form in Travis's eyes as he absorbed her words. I'm scared, Tay, he confessed, his voice breaking. I've never felt this way about anyone, and I don't want to lose you. But everything feels so intense. In that moment, Taylor leaned in closer, her gaze steady and unwavering. Travis, you mean the world to me. I don't care about the fame or the attention, I care about you. Just promise me that we'll always communicate, no matter what happens. I need you to know that I'm in this for the long haul. As he looked into her eyes, Travis felt a wave of emotion wash over him. The weight of his fears and insecurities began to lift, replaced by a profound sense of love and understanding. I promise, he said, his voice thick with emotion. I'll always be here for you. Tears streamed down his cheeks as the reality of their love settled in. It wasn't just a fairy tale, it was real and fragile, and it deserved to be nurtured. Taylor reached for a napkin, gently wiping his tears. See, it's okay to be vulnerable, she said softly. We're in this together. In that intimate moment, surrounded by flickering candlelight and the whispers of their hopes, Travis felt a renewed sense of purpose. He knew that the path ahead would be challenging, filled with ups and downs, but he also understood that love was worth fighting for. As they shared stories and laughter, the world outside faded away. They were no longer just Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift, they were two hearts beating as one, ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead, united in love and understanding. Title: A Swift Heartbreak In the heart of Kansas City, where the cheers of football fans reverberated through Arrowhead Stadium, Travis Kelsey was riding high on the success of his season. His performances on the field had earned him accolades and fame, but off the field, his relationship with pop superstar Taylor Swift was a whirlwind of its own. Travis and Taylor had been dating for a few months, capturing the media's attention and fanfare. Their public appearances were filled with laughter and playful banter, but behind the glamorous facade lay the pressure of constant scrutiny. As the NFL season progressed, Travis felt the weight of expectations, not just from fans, but also from his blossoming romance with Taylor. One evening, after a tough game that ended in a disappointing loss, Travis returned home exhausted. He sank into the couch, his mind racing. The bright lights of the stadium still flickered in his mind, but all he could feel was a crushing sense of disappointment. Just then, his phone buzzed with a text from Taylor. Can we talk? 
It read, Travis's heart raced. He knew that Taylor had a hectic schedule, but her words felt urgent. A few minutes later, she arrived at his apartment, her usually radiant smile replaced with a serious expression. Travis, I've been thinking, she began, her voice quivering slightly. This whirlwind we're in is amazing, but I feel like we're losing ourselves in it. Travis furrowed his brow, confusion washing over him. What do you mean? Aren't we having fun? Fun, yes, she said, her eyes locking onto his. But there's so much pressure. I feel like every time we step out, we're on display. And I don't want our relationship to be a spectacle. Travis's heart sank as he listened. He had been so caught up in the excitement and attention that he hadn't noticed the strain it was putting on their relationship. I thought we were okay, he said, his voice barely above a whisper. Taylor stepped closer, taking his hands in hers. I love you, Travis. But I need you to know that I'm scared. I'm scared of losing what we have to the noise around us. Her eyes shimmered with unshed tears, and in that moment, Travis felt a rush of emotions he had been holding back. He had always been the strong one, the one who carried his team through adversity. But now, faced with the vulnerability of the woman he loved, he felt his defenses crumbling. I don't want to lose you either, he said, his voice cracking. You mean the world to me, Taylor. I've never felt this way about anyone before. Tears streamed down Taylor's cheeks as she squeezed his hands tighter. Then let's take a step back. Let's find a way to protect us from the world. I don't want our love story to be defined by the headlines. Travis felt the weight of her words. He had been so focused on his career, the fame, and the excitement that he hadn't stopped to consider the impact it was having on Taylor. As he looked into her eyes, he finally understood the depth of her plea. In that moment, overwhelmed with emotion, Travis broke down. He felt the tears flow freely, a release of all the pressure he had been holding inside. I'm sorry, he cried. I didn't realize how much this was affecting you. I promise, we'll figure this out together. Taylor wrapped her arms around him, and they held each other tightly. It was a moment of clarity amidst the chaos of their lives, a promise to navigate the challenges together, away from the glaring lights and judgmental eyes. As they sat on the couch, wrapped in each other's embrace, Travis realized that their love was worth fighting for, worth breaking down for. The path ahead might be uncertain, but together they could weather any storm. And in that moment, both knew they had found something rare and precious that transcended the noise surrounding them. Travis Kelsey, the NFL's star tight end, had always been known for his toughness on the field. His ability to brush off hits, tackle opponents, and carry his team to victory was unmatched. But off the field, life had taken a turn he hadn't quite anticipated. Ever since he started dating pop superstar Taylor Swift, his life had been thrust into a whirlwind of public attention. Their relationship was scrutinized, celebrated, and criticized by fans from both worlds, football and music. Tonight, however, wasn't about the cameras or fans. It wasn't about the football field or sold-out stadiums filled with screaming fans. It was just Travis and Taylor, sitting in their cozy living room. The fire crackled softly in the background, but the mood was anything but warm. Travis had sensed for weeks that something was off, but nothing had prepared him for the desperate plea Taylor was about to make. Travis, Taylor's voice trembled, her eyes glistening with unshed tears. She had always been so composed, the image of grace and strength. But tonight, she looked vulnerable. I can't keep doing this, the pressure, the constant eyes on us. It's wearing me down, Travis felt his heart tighten. He shifted uncomfortably in his chair, his towering figure now hunched over, feeling smaller than ever before. Tay, I know it's hard. But we can handle this, together. We're strong enough. Taylor shook her head slowly, tears finally spilling down her cheeks. I love you, Travis. But every day feels like a battle. I've been fighting off rumors, trying to defend us from the world. And I see how this is affecting you too. You're caught between your career, your teammates, and this spotlight that's never been kind to us. Travis looked down, his hands clenching into fists as the weight of her words sank in. He had been feeling the strain too. His performance on the field was slipping, not from lack of effort, but from the constant mental exhaustion. The playful banter from his teammates had turned into subtle jabs about his personal life, about how the relationship with Taylor was overshadowing everything else. I don't want to lose you, Taylor whispered, her voice breaking. 
But I also don't want us to lose ourselves in this madness. What we have is real, but I'm scared that if we keep going like this, we're going to fall apart. I need to know that we can fight for us, or maybe we need to let go, for both our sakes. Travis's chest tightened, and suddenly, the room felt too small, the walls closing in on him. His career, his public image, his love for Taylor, everything was colliding at once. He looked up at her, and for the first time in a long time, he felt utterly helpless. The tears that had been threatening to spill over finally did. His voice cracked as he spoke, Tay, you're everything to me. I don't care about the cameras or the media. I just want you. I never wanted this attention, but I can't lose you. Not like this. Taylor moved closer, gently placing her hand on his. I don't want to lose you either. But we need to figure this out. The fame, the pressure, we need to make sure we're doing this for us, not for the world. Travis nodded, his throat tight with emotion. He had always been the strong one, the protector, but now, in front of the woman he loved, he felt raw, exposed. I'll do whatever it takes, he choked out. I'll fight for us. We'll figure it out. For a moment, they sat in silence, the weight of the world pressing down on them. Then, slowly, Taylor leaned in, resting her head on Travis's chest. He wrapped his arms around her, holding her tightly, as if afraid that if he let go, she would slip away forever. Tears continued to fall, but there was a sense of release in them.